Hi friends, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session, we are going to discuss a topic from reasoning called analogy, which is a very important question in various competitive exams. Now what is meant by analogy? Analogy is a comparison between two things, which is done for the purpose of better understanding or clarification. So in other words, in analogy, we make use of similar examples or conditions to explain something in a much better way. For example, we can say that hibernation is analogous to marathon. What is marathon? Marathon is a long race. Similarly, hibernation is a long sleep or a lengthy period of sleep. So we can understand that hibernation is to sleep in a similar way as marathon is to race. So this makes understanding the word hibernation easier. Now in the exam, typically two types of questions are asked from analogy. In the first one, a pair of words is given to us which has got a logical relationship between them and we are supposed to find out a similar pair from the given answer options which is analogous to the given pair of words. And in the second model, a pair of words is given with a logical relationship between them and another word is given. Now from the answer options, we are supposed to find out that word which makes the second pair complete or nothing but which makes the second pair analogous to the first pair. This topic of analogy can be classified into three categories as shown here. The first one here is simple analogy, second one is alphabet analogy and the third one is number analogy. Now, what is simple analogy? Simple analogy is the most general form of analogy where we are supposed to find out a pair of words which is analogous to the given pair of words or we need to complete the second pair so that it becomes analogous to the first pair. As discussed earlier, hibernation and marathon are analogous to each other. So these kind of questions come under simple analogy. In the second category, that is alphabet analogy, questions are based only on the letters of the English alphabet. Here we need to work on the positions of the letters as per the English alphabet to find out the analogous pair or to complete the second pair. And in the third category, that is number analogy, the questions are all based on different numbers. Let us now take a few examples from each of these categories. 